Hello everyone, this is Christopher with InMotion Hosting. In this video, I'm hoping we can learn to better understand server loads and how they can affect your overall hosting experience. Over the course of understanding server load, we will want to better understand monitored services, services that our system administrators watch closely. Unless you have a VPS or a dedicated hosting server, our systems team monitors services constantly, all day, every day, to make sure that all customers on a shared server have fair access to the system resources. Specifically, our system admins are keeping an eye on CPU load and usage, memory usage, and data transfer usage. We will discuss each of these in more detail in this video. First, we'll talk about CPU load. When you imagine a server, you may visualize a field of clouds suspended in the data sphere, limitless wireless information available for immediate download anywhere in the world. This does not accurately represent what a server is, though. Servers are just computers, usually a bunch of computers linked together in a big building. When you pull up your domain name in a browser, the request goes to a computer, and the computer crunches some data to generate the site. However, there are many factors that can affect this. One of the factors is CPU load. You can think of load as how hard the CPU is working. For example, most sites use PHP, one of the most common and popular scripting languages on the web. You can use PHP code to dynamically generate a website, but how the site is coded can vary enormously in its efficiency. For example, you can use PHP to crunch some numbers like 8 plus 1, and it can give you the result really quickly. This is a lot more efficient than asking the server to crunch 1 plus 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 1. The server can do both, but one practice is more efficient than the other. Imagine this simple arithmetic magnified to monumental complexity, moving large sets of data around. If coded efficiently, the server can handle huge amounts of data and deliver lightning fast results, but inefficient code can cause high server load. If the server is busy crunching inefficient code, that means other code may be waiting in line for a chance to use the CPU. Next, we'll talk about memory usage. Have you ever read a book and summarized the plot for someone later? This means you must have saved some plot information in your memory to recall later. It is likely that you didn't need to waste all your mental resources committing the complete text of the book to memory, only to recall some basic plot information. Computers do the same thing. Bits of code can be used to get information, store it, and then use it. In order to save resources, it is considered best practice to store information in an efficient way. For example, if you have an e-commerce store and you wanted to see the purchase information for one of your customers, it would be most efficient to request only the information you need about that single customer, use it, and then release it from memory. This is more efficient and economical than loading all customers into the computer's memory and causing a resource spike. Programs that store information inefficiently abuse resources. And next, we'll briefly talk about data transfer usage. Data transfer is the amount of data your server uses, usually measured each month. Overall, it's the measure of how much data is going to and from your server to a person requesting information. At InMotion, we monitor data usage to make sure customers all have fair access to resources and no one customer is hogging all the data. We hope this helps demystify the concepts of server load and server monitoring. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below and make sure to visit the InMotion Hosting Support Center for articles, updates, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.